first uh, kind of full spring as a full-time running, running back coach, what, what's it been like for you so far? Yeah, it's been exciting. You know, it's, it's fun to kind of get back on the offense and uh, pour through a bunch of film before spring football started and then uh, worked with a few of those guys before, and obviously on special teams. So good crop of guys, and uh, they're, they're really eager, willing to learn, lots of energy. So it was, uh, keeps me on my toes with, with that group of guys. Coach Master had had a strict no hurling policy that I know James broke a few times last year. We talked to him a few weeks ago, and he wasn't sure if he had the same policy. What's, what's the verdict? <laughs> yeah, we, we cleared that up. Yeah. He won't be hurling anybody. <laughs> no hurling. Yeah, no, no hurling policy. He, he is a running back. He's not a hurdler. But, you know, once he gets, uh, he gets your first down, he can kind of – so James Williams shows to that. I mean, we can, we can block it up for you and get you, you know, your footwork right, get you, get you 10. After that, it's kind of his show. But if you hurdle somebody gets tackled, it's going to be uh, – he'll be standing next to me on the sideline somewhere. So – you still have your, your kind of fingertips on, on special teams. I've seen you work, kind of working coincide, coinciding with, with Coach Brock. I mean, it, he's, like, doing, he's doing a great job. He's, he's got me kind of just helping out on each unit, uh, you know, with the big four units there and, uh, and field goal as well. So um, however I can help, you know, I'm, I'm more than willing to. So he's doing a great job. And uh, uh, it's been fun to kind of see, you know, kind of some of the schemes that he's got and, and the way he approaches it. So I think it'll be, uh, be fun to watch this season. And you mentioned you had time with, with players like Keith, um, and uh, now Max will be a, a special teamer. So is it kind of cool to have these running backs that are going to be involved with the, the third phase of the game, too? And do you expect that this season? No, they have to be. I mean, that's, that's part of the, uh, you know, that's the thing kind of from my experience, to make sure all those guys are on there. And if they're not doing that, they're not starting for us on offense. So um, they need to go out there and bust their butt on special teams and contribute on all three sides type of thing, you know. How challenging is it uh, in your first year to replace guys like Jamal and Gerard? Oof, that's tough, man. It's tough, but uh, the guys are doing a great job. I'll say that. I mean, they're really kind of stepping up their uh, their play. And uh, you know, Max for a freshman coming in, I mean, really, he's built for college football already, which is uh, that's a huge advantage for him. And now it's just kind of getting the playbooks down, nuanced stuff. So, um, really, three good guys right now that I'm working with, and it's uh, exciting to see who's kind of taking turns making plays. And um, it'll be fun to kind of see how it unfold the rest of the way. How eager is Keith to, to get out and get a lot of reps? You know, he's kind of been in the wings for so long. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't want to come out. So it's like you know, kind of rotate every, you know, every two, three plays. And uh, if somebody needs a blow, then he's the one jumping up to grab the extra rep. And, uh, you know, he knows it's kind of his last, uh, his last ride. He's going to go out with a bang. So it's, uh, it's great to have him as a, as a leader for that group. You seem pretty confident with, with Max coming in and, and making an impact year one and, and not having a red shirt? Yeah, I do. I do. I mean, he's just got to keep doing what he's doing and keep improving. But, uh you know, he's a smart guy, a physical kid, and, and he's obviously got a lot of ability, a lot of talent. So um, it'd be tough to kind of beat those other guys out. But, you know, every day goes by and he's kind of closing the gap a little bit. And it's, uh, they all kind of bring something special to the table in their own right. So it'll be, uh, it'll be fun to kind of utilize those guys in their best you know, kind of positions or, uh, you know, schematically, that type of thing. Coach Berger had, had said about Roderick, his true freshman that he's working with, he's like, he's a lot bigger than, than he expected it. And, and Max, he doesn't seem that big, but he's been carrying some guys on runs and, and quick shovel passes. Is there a little bit more punch than what, than what we see? Yeah, it reminds me of myself back in the day. He's, he's a 200-pound kid, but you look at him, he's tight waist, and you know, he's rocked up. And uh, I remember those days at the Jersey Shore uh, fondly. <laughs> um, but he's, uh, you know, he, he is, he's thick. He's thicker than you expect. You kind of don't see it in pads, but um, that's what, he's got low center of gravity. His shoulder pads are over his, knee, over his, his knees. Which means you know it enables him to kind of run people over and uh, keep his feet going and uh, you know kind of always fall forward, which is a great quality to have. Is there anything that you've implemented that maybe the running backs weren't doing last year? You maybe brought your own kind of style to, to the group or some, something within drills or uh, film room or anything like that? that yeah, probably just a lot. A lot of the kind of the talk that we have and things we're trying to work on and improve from last season. Really, that, that's that's kind of all it is. Uh, a little bit of the footwork stuff that we kind of tweaked a little bit. We have a new uh, new wrinkle player too in here or there. So um, really about finishing runs and. Uh, you know, really being some leaders. You know, Keith and James are actually two of the older guys at this point in the offense. We need those guys to kind of step up and rally those younger guys, you know, some of the younger linemen, younger receivers. So really just kind of having them, uh, you know, kind of elevate their game, uh, not just on the field, but, you know, in the locker room and uh, in the meetings, that type of thing. We saw a little chippiness out there today. I mean, as a coach at this point, are you just kind of trying to keep the guys on track? You're two weeks into spring, you know, keep them motivated. Uh, what's the vibe there? It's fun to see, man. It's, it's football, you know, it's, it uh, gets physical. And then, like I said, I mean, it's been a couple of weeks. They're hitting the same color jersey every day. It's, it's their buddies. And uh, it's kind of, you know, to be expected, this kind of thing happens. But um, it's, it's all good. I mean, it's going to get to Saturday, and, and the scrimmage really feels game quality. I think we do a good job of practicing like that, you know, practicing like it's a game. 
Um, you know, we're not really uh, – coach doesn't back off on these guys. I mean, soft isn't a word that he uses too often as far as his coaching style. So it's – I think that's an advantage for us. And we play tough. We play for each other. But um, this is kind of that building that